Welcome again to Algem Civil Engineering. Today, we are going to solve a problem on geometry. The problem is, what is the area of the hexagon inscribed by a circle having an area of 200 square meter? The interior angle of one of the triangles at the center of the hexagon is 60 degrees. By the way, we should note that the six triangles formed inside the hexagon is both equilateral and equiangular triangles which means all the interior angle of the triangles is 60 degrees and all its sides are equal. If we will examine carefully the figure, we might think of two ways or approach in solving this problem. First, we might consider solving the area of one of the triangles inside the hexagon and multiply it to 6 to get the area of the hexagon. The second approach might be computing the area of the shaded area which is the area of segment of the circle and multiply it to 6 to get the total area of the shaded portion. After that, we will subtract our answer to the area of the circle to get the area of the hexagon. We will try to solve these two approaches and we will see if we can get the same answer. Okay, so let's try the first approach. We will solve first the area of one of the triangles inside the hexagon then we will multiply it to 6 to get the area of the hexagon. Since the area of the circle is given, which is 200 square meter, we can compute the value of the radius of the circle, which happens to be also the side of the triangle. The formula for the area of circle is pi r squared. Solving for the radius, area is equal to pi r squared. Substituting the value of area, 200 is equal to pi r squared. Solving for the radius, r squared is equal to 200 divided by pi or r is equal to the square root of 200 divided by pi or we can get the value of r which is equal to 7.98 meters. Now that we have the value of radius r, we now have a triangle that looks like this. The triangle has two sides given and an included angle of 60 degrees. The area of this triangle can be solved using this formula. Area is equal to r squared sine theta divided by 2. By the way, I have a video on the different formulas that might be used in computing the area of triangle. You can visit my YouTube channel or you can see it through the link below. Okay, so going back, area is equal to r squared sine 60 degrees divided by 2, which is equal to 7.98 squared times sine 60 degrees divided by 2, and we get an area of 27.57 square meter. To get the area of hexagon, we will multiply 27.57 square meter times 6, and we get the area of hexagon equal to 165.42 square meter. Now we will try to solve this problem using the second approach. We will compute the area of the shaded portion, which is area of segment of circle. Then, we will multiply it to 6 to get the total area of the shaded portion. And after that, we will subtract our answer to the area of the circle, which is 200 square meter, to get the area of the hexagon. Let's see if we can come up with the same answer. To compute the area of segment of circle, we will use this formula. Area is equal to 1 half multiplied to r squared multiplied to pi divided by 180 multiplied to theta minus sine theta. Substituting the value of r and theta, area is equal to 1 half multiplied to 7.98 squared multiplied to pi over 180 multiplied to 60 minus sine of 60. And we get a value of area equal to 5.77 square meter. So area of one of the shaded portion is 5.77 square meter. To get the total area of the shaded portion, we will multiply 5.77 to 6 and we can get an answer of 34.62 square meter. To compute the area of hexagon, area is equal to area of circle minus total area of the shaded portion. So, area is equal to 200 which is the area of the circle minus 34.62 which is the total area of the shaded portion. And thus, we will get the area of the hexagon which is equal to 165.38 square meter. Comparing the two answers, we can see that they are almost the same and that is okay. The small discrepancy is caused by the rounding off of numbers. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. 
please click the like button and leave some comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, subscribe now for more videos. Thank you and see you next time.